Well, the new royal's biography on King Charles III has illustrated a few quirks about the monarch. Christopher Anderson's upcoming biography, The King, The Life of Charles III, has really dipped into the intimate details of his life. Within the book, it says the king still travels with his childhood stuffed bear. He still travels with a childhood teddy bear. He's had it since he was a very small child. The only person who's been allowed to mend King Charles's teddy bear is his childhood nanny, Maybelle Anderson, who he remains very close to. Charles's former valet, Michael Fawcett, also helped care for the bear when Charles was in his 40s. He further explained Charles's relationship with his nanny, Maybelle. Mabel was the only human being allowed to take needle and thread to Prince Charles's teddy bear. He was well into his 40s, and every time that teddy needed to be repaired, you would think it was his own child having major surgery. But it seems not everyone enjoyed the rules set out by the then Prince of Wales. According to a former gardening staff member, Charles always had instructions and complaints for the team. For someone who said he was bullied as a child, Prince Charles clearly enjoyed bullying us. He could be pleasant and courteous, but just as much of the time, he was moody and mean. He didn't think twice about shouting insults at you if you put a foot wrong. King Charles III's anger was detailed in the book in a moment where he grew enraged when losing a cuffling down the sink while holidaying in the south of France. Another former valet, Ken Stronat, told Chris Anderson that Charles, flying into a blind rage, he pulled the sink off the wall and smashed it looking for the cufflink. Unable to find the missing jewellery, a wild-eyed Prince of Wales spun around and grabbed his valet by the throat. Stronach broke free, darted out a side door and into a linen closet. Terrified, he'd huddled there for 30 minutes before he could hear Charles leave the bathroom. Mr Stronic shared more examples with the Royals author, alleging that when Charles was unable to open a window for some fresh air, he picked up a chair and smashed it open. Not satisfied with the results, he smashed another. King Charles carrying around his childhood teddy bear isn't the only quirky fact the book alleges about the monarch. Chris Anderson claims the king insists on travelling with a custom-made toilet seat. Despite the fact that King Charles III has allegedly denied this claim, the book details how he insists on bringing his chef to dine, even if it means he eats separately to his guests. People who work in the palace, people who have worked for him, say that when he goes to dinner parties at other people's homes, he often brings his own chef so they can prepare a meal for him that he'll eat separately at the table. He wants what he wants, when he wants it. And in a quite a bizarre claim, the book details that both King Charles and Queen Elizabeth II would bring their own ice trays when travelling. I think one of the funniest quirks, a number of royals have this, the Queen had it as well, they don't like square iced cubes. They carry around ice cube trays, they have them brought with them wherever they go because they don't like the clinking sound that square cubes make.